So basically, one of our viewers has sent us a series of emails, and uh, he was asking, so he needs a $93,000 no income proof LLC business loan. And he brings in every month $8,000, and his income is legit but not verifiable. So the thing is, he wants to know, how the hell does he get a business loan without income proof? So in today's conversation, we'll be, we'll be answering that question. So if you're interested in a similar topic, I want you to stick around till the end because you are going to love today's conversation. I guarantee you. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ought to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, we have a situation here. So, Sanjay, so this is the name of the guy who actually sent us an email. So, Sanjay says, I need a $93,000 no income proof LLC business loan and I hustle in eight thousand dollars every month my income is legit but non verifiable how the hell do i get a business loan without income proof so here is what's going on dear viewers we know you guys are very smart because uh we see the questions you ask we see the emails we receive from you guys you are very smart please feel free to pitch in so i'm going to summarize everything for you tell you exactly what's going on here so we have sanjay p He's a 42-year-old male. He lives in Cleveland. I want to give my a big shout out to our folks in uh, Ohio. And so Sanjay is 42. He's married with three children. And he owns a clothing boutique, a clothing shop. And he needs $93,000 no income loan, no income proof loan. He makes about 80 uh, he makes about $8,000 a month, okay? And the thing here is that everything is cash he does his accounting using cash transactions. I mean, he has no software. He has no QuickBooks, no Zero, no Wave, not at all. Everything is done in cash. And uh, he wants to buy more inventory. And the thing is, Sanjay, when we were talking to you, I know that you were listening because you promised to listen. And so when, when we told you that we were going to pick up your uh, story to do a video on you, you said you will be you'll be listening with your whole family. That's that's great. Thank you. But what I think, one thing you said to us is that the you, you never wanted to invest in software because you do not understand how those things work one thing i want to tell you here is that uh quickbooks or wave or zero they are very simple i mean they you have different modules okay depending you can choose the 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 the, the easiest one It'll probably cost you 15 dollars um, a month so that's really uh, affordable but you really want to get away from uh, doing cash accounting because the thing here is that if you want to have, if you want to deal with banks, you want to deal with lenders in general, banks, alternative lenders, credit unions, you need to have proper accounting and cash accounting, like, you know, putting cash in envelopes, all that kind of stuff. This is, this is not going to help you out. But I just want to summarize this for our viewers and say, dear viewers, please feel free to pitch in and uh, yes. Okay, first things first. Sanjay, you said a lot of things about your business. You were making eight thousand dollars a year, and I mean not a year, a month. But one thing I want to ask you first is that make sure your business is legit. If you want to have a ninety-three thousand no income proof LLC business loan, the first thing you gotta, you know, right off the bat, I want you to make sure your business is legit. I, you know, I don't doubt the fact that you have a, a clothing store. Okay. People come in, people buy stuff, whatever. But is your business in terms of compliance, in terms of regulations, does your business abide by the laws of the state where you are located? Okay. Have you chosen a business structure or are, do, you have, do you just have an, an informal business? Because all those questions we asked you during the conversation, but you never answered us. So I'm, I'm taking the opportunity here to ask you, are you an LLC? Are you a, 
Are you an S corporation? Are you a C corporation? Are you a partnership? What are you? Okay. And uh, so you need to get a business address. You told us that basically your business address is not the same thing as, as the store. So you are actually routing all your business mail to your house. That's fine. But make sure that it is pretty clear to lenders so that your business address, your store address is not confused with your business address, which is your home address. Okay. And you need to register your business name. That's one thing we ask you and you never answer that too. Do you have a, are you registered? See the, the whole thing here is that, do you have an EIN or are you just running your boutique? Just like, like a, you know, a backyard, a backyard, a store. Do you have a, do you have a business tax ID number? You got to have those things. Okay. You, you want to apply for business licenses and permits. Actually, there are some licenses that are required in Ohio, in Cleveland, specifically because we have clients in Cleveland and they told us that you are required to have some business licenses and permits in the, in the niche that you're in. So I just want you to check that out, okay? And do you have a business bank account? And so where do you bank at? Where do you business bank at? Talk to us about that. Do you have the proper business insurance? So here, so see, the thing is, I'm just uh, listening for you. A constellation of factors that will help to legitimize your business that will help to put a legit sort of veneer upon your your business you got to have that especially if you are looking for a no income proof LLC business loans you need to appear to the lender as a legit business Sanjay I, I want you to be really careful here and, and my question, and I and listen, I'm going to ask you straight up. Are your business finances healthy regardless of proof of income? Talk to me about that. So basically, you know, I, listen, I get what you what you're asking me. You're asking us to help you have or help you find a no income proof LLC business loan. But the question we're asking you back is, are your business finances healthy at all? You said you are hustling in eight grand a month. Okay, that's listen, I'll take that. But eight grand a month, that's revenue. That's not income. Out of that eight grand a month, how much is left as pure cash, disposable income that goes to the bank? In other words, is your business uh, staying afloat or is, there, is your business chilling or is scraping by? Let's talk about that. Have you analyzed your balance sheet? Have you analyzed your income statement? Obviously, you have no idea what a balance sheet is or an income statement is because you told us that you do your accounting, you do cash accounting, you you have a you have a book where you just put cash in, cash out. But one thing I want to say here is that when we talk about determining the financial health of a company, in your company for that matter, of your clothing boutique, you want to analyze properly your company's balance sheet, your store's balance sheet. You need to analyze your income statement. Now, Sanjay, listen, I get it. Everything I'm saying, if this sounds like a chart that like, a, let's say a, a, a foreign language to you, <laughs> please get someone to help you out. OK, because you really need to analyze your cash flow, your company's uh, cash flow statement. You need to see the liquidity situation, your cash inflows and cash outflows. Those are quite essential. OK, because the lender is going to do that analysis anyway. So you might as well do the analysis beforehand before you even contact them, because they will be doing it anyway. OK, think about your financial ratio analysis. Again, everything I'm telling you, I am aware that you probably have no idea what I'm speaking about, which is fine, which is why you want to uh, find yourself a good accountant in Cleveland, Ohio. I mean, a lot of a lot of great accountants in, in uh, Cleveland who can actually help you out. And please. Do not try to be cheap and say, you know, I'm not spending $200 or $300 or $500 for that matter to get someone because you seek a $93,000 in loan. You, so you, you need to be prepared to make the investment necessary to uh, bring your, uh, your company in the right, uh, under the right light. Solution idea number one, Sanjay, you want to improve your personal finances and FICO score. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right off the bat. See, the thing you have to understand is that if you are looking, if you're anytime you look for a no income proof business loan, the lender is going to base their decision on something. There has to be one criterion 
they pay attention to because you're asking them not to pay attention to your income not to pay attention to your business credit score not to pay attention to your cash inflows and cash outflows so what else is what else is left your personal finances and fico scores fico score okay this is really important so what i'm trying to tell you here is what i'm trying to improve your personal finances you want to track your spending to improve your finances do you have a budget sanjay talk to me you have three children okay do you have a budget do you have a savings account do you have a, an emer a rainy day fund are you paying your bills on time every month the thing is we would have, we would have loved to have uh, your uh, FICO score, but you didn't tell us your FICO score. That would have been that would have been really interesting, providing more context to the analysis. Okay, have you you need to cut back on recurring charges. Okay, again, it's all about saving saving to actually afford big purchases. Now, I'm not asking you to save ninety seven thousand dollars, but you got to save something. Okay, you need to have an investment strategy here. And so you need to apply the same strategy for your FICO score. In other words, you need to pay down your revolving credit balance. Okay, your revolving credit balances. You need to increase your credit limits. And I don't even know where you bank at. I don't know what kind of credit cards you have. If you do have credit cards, but you got to check your credit reports for errors. Okay, so what I'm trying to say here is what? I'm trying to make sure that you understand that if you want, if you want a no income proof LC business loan, your FICO score must be good. Your financial situation must be good, personally that is, because the, the lender is gonna say, okay, this person is doing fantastically well. They are doing fantastically in terms of uh, their private life. So they must be responsible, quote unquote, responsible financially speaking. So we can trust them when it comes to our business loan. So this is important, okay? You need to actually have a, a good a good fundamental financially speaking on the personal side so you can use you can parlay that fundamental on the personal side to you can parlay that into an approval of your no income proof LC business loan very important solution idea number two Sanjay listen son I want you to hire a CPA to prepare financial statements for you okay so basically i mean if you if a cpa is too expensive for you you can hire an accountant but you need to have somebody who has the authority and the credibility and the expertise to actually prepare for you financial statements and, and actually and listen i'm just telling you because i, I I'm, I'm a cpa myself i used to be a cpa and I'm, I'm no longer active but I understand how the process works and you want to have you want to have somebody with expertise and CPE. I mean, the designation carries some authority vis-a-vis -vis lenders. OK, versus just a regular accountant. So what you want to do is you want to prepare financial statements. Those are the accounting reports that I was I was just talking about earlier. Right. The four the four primary accounting reports. So we have the balance sheet, your your store, your clothing boutique, your clothing boutiques uh, balance sheet. Your the boutique's uh, income statement, the statement of cash flows, and the uh, owner's equity statement. So those are important. Now, the thing here is that when you hire the CPA, you got to have a conversation with the CPA, and I want you to be honest with with him or her. Okay, you want to explain why you cannot prove income, and you want to provide him or her whatever documentation you you can, because what you want is you want you want her or him to be able to to, to prepare your financials. Okay, and in this case, estimated data is okay. What I'm trying to say here is that you need to have financials. If you are looking for a no income proof LC business loan, you need to have financials. Even if those, uh, even even if your income data is estimated, is is actually not certain, is not actual, it's still fine. But the lender needs to see something. Okay, and financial statements are important because they provide a better picture of your company. And listen. The, the four basic financial statements are what I just told you. Balance sheet, income statement, cash flow statements, uh, owner's equity statement. Those are important. So, and it, the thing is, if you had accounting software, you can prepare your own accounting software. You can prepare your, your own uh, financial reports. But in your case, because you have been doing cash accounting for the last, I don't even know how, long, how many years you've been doing this. I mean, it will take, it will take some time to reestablish Okay, to reestablish your accounting process to make sure that it abides by US GAAP. So US GAAP is United States generally accepted accounting principles. 
I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about uh, Sanjay, and Sanjay sent us uh, a request. He wants to get a $93,000 no income proof LLC business loan, and he basically wants us to give us to give him ideas. So, Sanjay, solution idea number three. You want to get your latest business bank statements and evaluate your company's cash flows. Okay. And one thing you want to do here, when I'm talking about eval evaluating your company's cash flows, you can also enlist the help of the, the same CPA who's uh, preparing uh, your financial statements. You can ask him to take a look at your uh, bank statements, your business bank statements. Make sure the cash flows tie to the statement of cash flows the CPA has previously prepared for you, which is why I'm telling you it's just a lot better to use the CPA for, multi for multiple purposes. This could be a little expensive. Some, some CPA charge like 40 grand, I mean 40 grand. <laughs> some CPAs will charge you $40 an hour or $50 an hour. So you gotta be really careful about the number of hours that you want to employ the CPA. Now, but the thing, but the thing is you need to have his or her initial contribution, right? So you know exactly what's really happening. So when we talk about business bank statements, we're speaking about a documents that have a constellation of uh, important factors. So you have the bank information, your business information, your account information, okay? Statement dates, account summary, your transaction summary, and your bank messages. There are a lot of things. There are a lot of things you can see on a business bank statement, but even beyond that, you need to really be careful about the fact that you want to portray a legit business, right? Now, as you can see on the screen here, courtesy of a Patriot software, we are showing you a business bank statement example how it usually looks like. You can see all the different parts, okay? And the thing is that there are a lot of ways you can use your business bank statements in addition to uh, complying with um, with this, uh, you know, a business loan requirement. You can use it to uh, file your tax returns. You can apply for a loan. You can reconcile your bank statements to know exactly what's really happening in your business in terms of liquidity. You can track uncashed tax you can budget for your business. This is important. You can find errors and authorize on. You can find errors and unauthorized transactions. So the, the the cool thing here is that you have a lot of options. So this is why we want you to prepare those business bank statements. Solution idea number four, Sanjay. One thing I want you to do here is that you need to choose the type of loan you want. So you asked us that you are looking for a no income proof LLC business loan. Now, what you just mentioned, this is a generic term, okay? But you gotta be really clear about the business loan that you want. One thing you wanna do here, you wanna contact lenders, st starting with your existing bank. See, the thing is, you have a bank right now, so start with uh, your existing bank and show the bank statements and financials you have prepared, okay? And the thing here is that uh, when we talk about no income proof LLC business loans, we have covered this topic on multiple, multiple, multiple shows. But for today, for all intents and purposes, what I want you to do is you want to explore no income loans from alternative lenders. I'm speaking about merchant cash advances. I'm speaking about equipment financing. This is important. I'm speaking about business line of credit. And the cool thing is that all the financial statements that you have pre that you have prepared before, those will come they'll come handy right now because all those lenders, they do not pay attention to uh, gazillions of paperwork. They only pay attention to the most important one. They can ask you for for a line of, you know, they can ask you for uh, basically uh, your bank statements. They can ask you for uh, your financials, okay? So it's important. You want to start with your existing bank and you want to show the bank statements and financials you have prepared, business line of credit. You can try also short-term business loan. Those could be also possible, okay? And, uh, and also, in addition, you have uh, revenue-based business loans. So those are basically uh, the types of uh, loans that could qualify for a no income proof LLC business loan. In addition, sometimes you can look for equipment financing. See, if you are financing equipment for your clothing boutique, what's gonna happen is that the lender is not gonna care too much about your, your, uh, your income because they know that the machinery 
qualifies and the machinery is the collateral if, so if something were to happen if you start playing games with the payment and you're not really returning their calls and you are defaulting on the loan they could just repo the uh, the machine and just sell it okay this is why it's just important for you to choose the type of loan you want be clear about how that loan can actually qualify you can actually help you in terms of advancing your own uh, on your own store and making more money and staying around for a long time Thank you so much for your attention. Sanjay, I want to thank you for for uh, for sending us this topic and uh, we're, we sh- we're sure that you have listened to us. So basically, if you want to, and again, I'll just, I want to thank also our beloved viewers. If you have any question, please feel free to pitch in or if you want some advice, some comments, feel free to pitch in. We love uh, all our viewers. We love their opinions. Fantastic. So thank you so much for your attention. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay Marvelous. <laughs>